When I'm relaxing in the heart of nature, deep divers, sometimes someone comes along and they're like, Ralph, it's time to go, let's go. And I'm like, nah, I'm gonna stay. They're like, pardon? I'm like, nah, I'm gonna stay. Slow it down. I said, namaste, deep divers, namaste, which means I honor the divine in you. Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers, we are out here in the mysterious art gallery. I'm just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. I'm sending you tons of hand signs today, deep divers. Take that, take that, take that. Oh my gosh. We got a whole lot to talk about. Deep Divers 10, secret symbols and hand signs and their hidden meanings. This will blow your mind. Have you ever seen your favorite celebrity throwing up a hand sign? Maybe this one or this one. And you're like, oh my gosh, Ralph, that's so evil. But do you actually know what it even means? Well, Alas, deep divers, we are about to take a trip to the ancient world and find out where all of these signs and symbols actually came from so we can empower ourselves to live our best lives. Wait a minute. We ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Wonderful deep divers. Let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. What's helped me is to really learn about ancient symbols and signs. Because I would, growing up, see these celebrities throwing up these hand signs and gestures, and I'm like, what does that mean? Illuminati. Then I actually started to realize that, wait a minute, these hand signs and symbols are thousands of years old. Before language, deep divers as we know it, there was another kind of language. It was the language of hand signs and symbols. This is the earliest kind of communication known to man and woman. Hand signs and symbols. Now, in the Sanskrit, there is a word called mudra, and it actually translates into gesture or seal. And it is believed that, I know this though, <laughs> we have thousands of subtle energy pathways running through our body. Every single second, millisecond, and these are called nadis. And the nadis end up at our fingertips, also in our hands. And that's why hand mudras are so powerful. Namaste. Deep divers, the mudras, they act as a link between two or more energy paths. And when you hold your fingers, your thumbs, these babies, <laughs> and your palms in certain positions, what happens? You actually begin to create new circuits of energy. That's pretty cool, Ralph. I know, right? And if you practice a certain mudra consistently over a period of time, 
the new circuit of energy is strengthened and developed. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. So when you see all of these celebrities throwing up these hand signs, it's because these are ancient, powerful symbols. And if you learn how they work, you will empower yourself. Deep divers, what is the first? Oh, baby, sacred. It's sacred, that's right. And it's also a secret. The first secret symbol. <laughs> and hand sign. And it's hidden meaning. This will blow your mind. It is this. Have you ever seen a celebrity doing this? Or someone doing this? And you're like, oh my gosh, Ralph, that's the devil, right? Do you just say that immediately without actually knowing what it is? Well, deep divers, as we dive deeper, this is called the Gian Mudra. The Gian Mudra. This is all about knowledge. This is the mudra for knowledge. So if you are doing pranayama, which is breathing meditation, breathing yoga, right? You go into this pose. This gives you access to knowledge. The knowledge of who you are and the knowledge of the universe. So you might see Beyonce doing this, another celebrity doing this, and you're like, oh my gosh, what does that mean? All it means is knowledge. And therefore, deep divers, if you practice these mudras, you become enlightened to the truth of who you really are, which is a spiritual being having a human experience. Now, these signs and symbols all started off as positive. Okay, this is all about higher knowledge and wisdom. Now, when a lot of people use it in today's world, this is all about, hey, I'm in a club and you're not in it. Because I've got knowledge you don't have. I know something you don't know, right? But... Realize, deep divers, you can use these same hand gestures to empower yourself to the truth. The great scientist Nikola Tesla said, deep divers, study three, six, nine, and you will learn the secrets of the universe. Wait a minute. This is three. This is six. This is nine. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. This is three six. Six six six. That's six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons. That is the number of man and woman. Carbon. So this is extremely powerful and it can empower you. It's nothing to be afraid of. Deep divers, these are all your signs and symbols from your ancient lineage. Deep divers, what is the second? Oh, baby. Secret symbol and hand sign and its hidden meaning. This will blow your mind. Have you ever seen someone do that? I think Eminem did that on his album cover, right? We see this sign so often in today's culture and we often think of this as the devil's horn. Okay, but once again, they've taken something extremely positive to begin with and they've reversed it to mean something negative. Just like this, sometimes people say it's white power. No, this is the Gian of knowledge. This means knowledge. Okay, this, if you see someone doing this, it's actually the Apana Mudra. The Apana Mudra. 
the Apana Mudra. If you realize Deep Diver's Buddha has been seen doing this, and also this, so has Lord Shiva. <laughs> this Apana Mudra is all about eliminating waste from your mind, body, and soul. It's basically an internal detox to ward off energy no longer serving you so you can protect your energy. Now we see it as the devil's horns, right? But no, this started off as something extremely positive. And if you practice this mudra, you are now warding off energy that doesn't serve you. You're clearing waste inside of yourself to purify, to purify, to purify yourself. Deep divers, what is the third? Oh, baby. <laughs> Secret symbol and hand sign and its hidden meaning. I'm doing it right now. Deep divers, this will blow your mind. I'm just woo, breathing in that good ass prana. It's called the prana mudra. The prana mudra, extremely powerful mudra. Prana is the vital life force. It connects us to all things, all living things in existence. It connects us to source energy. It connects us to the fabric of what we are made of. Deep divers. Now, when you see this in today's culture, wait a minute, Ralph, that's... Baphomet. Baphomet does that. It's evil, Ralph. It's the church of Satan. <laughs> yes, Baphomet has done this. And once again, deep divers, they have taken very ancient positive symbols which were designed to empower human beings and they've turned it around to mean something negative. So when the Baphomet does this, he also does this as well, which is a signal to say, actually, I'm for life because that's what the prana mudra means for life. But I'm also for destruction. OK, so you've got to be able to pay attention. And that's why it's so imperative, so important for you to know where these ancient symbols and hand signs come from. So you can actually use them yourself to empower yourself. Deep divers, what is the fourth? Oh, baby. Secret symbol and hand sign and its hidden meaning this will blow your mind it is the all-seeing eye have you seen that it's the rock right okay you've often seen a lot of celebrities doing this always covering one eye what does that mean it's the illuminati ralph okay okay no deep dive is it goes back to the ancient world of ancient Kemet or Egypt. It is the all-seeing eye. It is the eye of Ra. It is the eye of Horus. It is the eye that sees everything. It is that eye in the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it is the third eye or the first eye. It is intuition. It is knowing. It is extremely positive because the eye of Horus is a symbol of protection, good fortune, royalty, serenity, tranquility, prosperity. Now in today's world, if you see someone doing this, you think they're part of a secret organization, right? They're hiding something. <laughs> well, the all-seeing eye is actually your third eye. And it's extremely positive. When your third eye is open or your first eye, you are able to see through this Maya. In the Indus Valley, they talk about the Maya, which is the illusion world. This matrix is the Maya. It's the illusion world. Deep divers, 
The only real world is the world within yourself. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. So when your favorite celebrity does this, covers one eye, all they're telling you is that, hey, I know something you don't know. That none of this is real anyway. And we are spiritual beings having a human experience. They are in the know you want. So when you learn how to use these hand signs and gestures and symbols to empower yourself, you stop externalizing your power out there and you take back your power. Like in the Wizard of Oz, Dorothy, the power has been with you all along. Deep divers, what is the fifth? Number five, <laughs> secret symbol and hand sign and it's hidden meaning. This will blow your mind. Seven day vegan challenge. Shout out to everybody who ate a delicious apple today full of antioxidants. Now, if you slice that apple in half deep divers, you would have seen a pentagram. And that is a secret symbol of divine power. The goddess of writing, Sashat, in ancient Egypt, or Kemet, her emblem was the five-pointed star, the pentagram. And it actually symbolized the five elements, air, water, fire, earth, and the fifth element, which is the ether or the spirit. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. It is the connection between this world and the world beyond this world. So when you are connecting with all of the elements, you begin to manifest. That's why the goddess Shashat was all about writing writing, taking what's in the mind to manifest in the material world. Also, it is the hemp plant. That's the pentagram, okay? Did you know Seven Day Vegan Challenge Deep Divers hemp is a complete source of protein? Also iron, zinc, copper, magnesium. It's got everything the body needs. Now, in today's world, if you see a pentagram, you probably think satanic worship, Lucifer, the devil. So once again, they've taken something extremely positive and life-bearing, and they've turned it into something negative. They want people to be afraid of it. But in actuality, study the pentagram, because that is the secret of life itself. Deep divers, what is the sixth? Oh, baby. Secret symbol and hand sign. And it's hidden meaning. This will blow your mind. Don't do that, Ralph. Okay. Has somebody ever sworn at you, deep divers? And you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you just did that. It's rude. It's impolite. And it's just not, it's just not a nice thing to do. But where does this come from, deep divers? Let's go back to ancient Greece in antiquity, right? In antiquity, before antiquity. Listen to this. This was a symbol of the phallus, the penis, of sexual energy, male sexual energy. That's all it was. But later on, it got transformed into something about sexual aggression, sexual dominance, like, and that's why when people say, Hey, up yours. It's a big offense. Do not ever tell the cat down the road there. That's rude, deep divers, right? So just realize, once again, we're talking about a phallic symbol. That's all it is. And it's got turned into something offensive, okay? So it's always great to know where these gestures and symbols actually come from. What is the seventh? Secret symbol and hand sign and its hidden meaning. Deep divers, this will blow your mind. Hey, Ralph, 
What? You always do this at the end of every video. I know, Deep Divers, because I'm giving you a thumbs up. I got love for you. Where does this come from, Deep Divers? Let's take a trip to ancient Rome in the gladiator arena, okay? And when the gladiator had defeated his opponent, he had defeated his opponent, Deep Divers. He could spare his life or kill him. So he turned to the crowd and said, are you not entertained? And they're like, no, I'm not. And when he turned to the crowd, okay, when he turned to the crowd, deep divers, if the crowd did this, it actually meant that he should kill his opponent. Okay? Check out the work of Anthony Cornell, okay? Classical studies professor. Because people actually thought this meant, no, save his life. No, this meant actually kill him. Not nice, right? Because it's the stamp of approval. And this can be seen in today's culture. When you do this to someone, it means that, hey, I approve it. Yes, that's good. Yeah. And if you do this, that means no, you disapprove it, right? So if the crowd went like this, it was bad news for his opponent. But if the crowd went like this, it was like the opponent was like, phew, phew. That was a close call. <laughs> Deep Divers, what is the eighth? Oh, baby. <laughs> Secret symbol and hand sign and its hidden meaning. This will blow your mind. Peace. This is the peace sign, Deep Divers. Peace. But where does it come from? And was it always peace? Well, let's go back to the Hundred Years' War between Britain and France, okay? In 1415, you had the Battle of Agincourt, okay? And 80% of the British army were long bowsmen, okay? And very experienced. Now, the French said, if I actually catch any person of the British army, I'm going to cut these two fingers off so they won't be able to fire from their bow so the British actually won that battle so this symbol was the British saying to the French that hey we still have our two fingers and this is for victory and this is F off I've got my two fingers that's where it actually comes from now go back to 1941 who else did this famous symbol Winston Churchill, which this was a symbol for victory. Nowadays, this just means, hey, peace, right? Peace, 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 peace. But it's always good to know where these symbols and hand gestures actually come from. Deep Divers, once again, it's all about how you use symbols and how you make them work for you. What is the ninth? Oh, baby! <laughs> Secret. Symbol and hand sign. Deep divers. And its hidden meaning. This will blow your mind. I'm so in love with you. I love you, Ralph. I love you. I love you. I love you. Deep divers. Who do you love? Who do you love? Now, the heart-shaped symbol. Where does it come from? I'm sure you've sent someone a hard emoji at least once in your lifetime. And if you haven't, I have to arrange a counseling session with a cat down the road for you because you need more love in your life, deep dives, right? Where does it come from though? Where does it come from though? Where does it come from though? Let's go back to ancient Greece. There was a perfect heart-shaped seed. Okay. And... This was the seed of the Silphium. 
plant, which was a plant which was known to be an aphrodisiac. I'm so in love right now. And also it was used as a perfume and also a herbal contraceptive. And it actually got extinct 2,500 years ago because they just kept consuming it and everybody was falling in love, right? <laughs> well, that's where it actually comes from. It's all in nature. There was a perfect heart-shaped seed and that today is a symbol of love because once again, it was in nature before we started to use it. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. Deep Divers was the 10th, oh baby. Secret symbol and hand sign and its hidden meaning. This will blow your mind, Deep Divers. Are you part of a gang, Ralph? No, Deep Divers, I'm not part of a gang. This is the Shunya, okay? Shunya Mudra, which is the Mudra of emptiness. The heavens, the sky. This Mudra connects us to the heavens the celestial regions in time and space. And many times when people are in pranayama, breathing meditation and doing this, they are connecting with the heavens. They are transcending time and space in itself and going beyond the seen into the unseen realms. Whoa, I know. But in today's culture, we just do this. Some people do this and it's like, hey, a gang thing or it's just a weird thing, right? But once again, it all goes back to the ancient world. All of these symbols and hand gestures and signs all started out to be something extremely positive and uplifting. So I'm here to tell you, deep divers, there is nothing to be afraid of, nothing to be scared of. This, it only means knowledge. This only means you are eliminating waste from your body, physically and mentally and emotionally. So let me know your favorite hand gesture, deep divers, your favorite hand sign and secret symbol. I want to know. And that's why I'm just saying, Phil, so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? Beautiful deep divers were just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. And also the pentagram, we ain't over deep divers, can also be seen in the seal of Solomon. Okay, the seal of Solomon, as above, so below. Okay. As above, so below. It's a reflection. Everything is a reflection. Okay, he is a light side of him, then a dark side of him. Okay, it's all there. Deep divers. <laughs> Shout out to everybody who's been getting the wonderful good ass prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash close. If you've got a question for me, deep divers, add me on Instagram at infinite waters. And also the verified Facebook page, Ralph Smart slash, no, it's Facebook slash Ralph Smart Deep Divers. <laughs> Send me a question there. And the model search is also one. If you are a sexy ass model, woo, with a lot of heart, DM me on Instagram at Infinite Waters. Check out the new book. Deep Divers for more information like this. Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon. Deep Divers, I'm gonna leave you with a peace. Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy, peace. You! Actually, I'm gonna leave you with a namaste. Namaste. Are you gonna stay here, Ralph? Namaste. Yeah, I'm going to stay here. It's the art gallery, baby. Namaste, deep divers. Peace.